Hey there everybody, Empty Pockets here, back with another episode of the RC Garage. This will be the first episode of the year. I know it's been a while since my last video. I had a lot of stuff going on with the holidays. But we're going to start this year off right with a new fresh build. I uh, got the SCX-10 II for Christmas. We're going to start this build off. I want to have it done by January 28th. And there's a big RC event here in Florida that I'm going to want to go to. It's the Crawl Fest. If y'all haven't been, it's a great event. It's a G6 style event at an awesome course set up by RRW Crawl Zone here in Bellevue, Florida. I'll have a link to their website down in the description. But let's get started with this just because it's going to be a quick unboxing. Go through and see what it is. Get everything ready to get started building. I have a big plan for this. It's going to be my first themed vehicle body. The overspray film looks a little scratched up there, but hopefully that won't hurt anything. But yeah, I'm going to do a nice themed body. So y'all look forward to that. And like with all kits, you just got bags and bags of parts. You got your glue on wheels, which I will not be using these on this build. I got a set of beadlock wheels I'm going to be using. Your BF Goodwrench All-Terrain TAs. Don't know if I'm going to use these or not. I haven't made up my mind yet. They seem pretty sticky. Pretty soft compound. Of course the stock foams aren't the best. But like I said I don't know if I'll be using these or not. Then it looks like you got your plastic ones. Some link mounts. Some axle parts. Your axle housings. Your diff covers. Your link mounts few scale accessories in there which I don't know if I'll be using on this build but they're in there and you got bag C looks like you got some shock oil your icon shocks uh, looks like transmission gears and yeah, looks like shocks and transmission stuff in here now I won't be using the 30 weight shock oil I'm going to be running 35 weight factory team shock oil in mine. Plastics 3. What do we got? Look like bumpers. Uh, servo stuff. Your battery mount. Your electronics plates. Some ex scale accessories. Battery straps. Hardware. Plastics 4. Looks like your grill and the roof mat rack, which I don't know if I'll be using yet. I haven't made my mind on that. And then the bag I was really wanting to get to start off with is the instructions. And here you got your frame rail. Of course your little T wrench that comes with all the axles and your little gate markers. On the other side, you have your decal sheets. I'll be using some of these. I might not use them all, but I definitely be, will be using some of these. Your window masks are in here. And the instruction sheet. Flip through. There's all your parts. So that way you have all your part numbers and everything. Easy to find them. And it starts out, looks like the first step is building the differentials and the axles. The instructions look like they're really easy to read. It's going to be easy to follow. Pretty quick little build. So let me get this desk cleared off. And I'm going to show you what I do anytime I start a new build. Alright, we're back. Got the table all cleared off. Now the first thing I like to do before I tear into any of the bags is set up my build book. This is something I've been using on past builds. These build books are simple. A little half inch binder. You can pick up any store, Walmart, Dollar Tree, wherever. These come in really handy. It gives you an easy way to look back at your parts. Be them stock parts or aftermarket. That way you have the part number, where you bought it, and the price right there handy. That way if you break anything, you can just look back see what you See what you bought for that part. 
and buy it again if you want. They're pretty simple. First page, you know, you get the driver's name, the build name if you want to build your, if you want to name your builds, the class that that vehicle is going to be running in, the start date and the completion date of your build. Throughout, you guys got separate pages. The chassis got its own page. You know, your frame rails, your shock plate, all that. You got a page for any sponsors that you've used for this build, as well as an events page so you can keep track of all the events you attend. One other part I like to add to this is the instruction manual. I like to put that in there because your explosive views are in here. These explosive views are a lifesaver a lot of times because you lose a little part. You have every little part number for every little piece of the build. So it's really good to keep a hold of these. The way I put them in there is simple. Three hole punch. Get as close to the edge you can. That way you don't punch through any of the part numbers or anything that you need for the each page. And simply throw it in there. Now you have a way to easily keep track of your instruction manual. You have it all right there with you. And you can decorate these any way you want. So you get some decals that are too big for the body, throw them on there. I really like having these. They come in handy in the long run because you always have a way to keep track of the parts you use for your builds. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Now there's going to be a change to the channel. Instead of posting every Thursday, I'm going to be posting every Friday. So keep an eye out for my videos on Friday now. If you like this video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new and haven't already, then please subscribe. And join me back here every Friday for more RC fun at the RC Garage. See you guys next time.